All right, so we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna do something different. I've done this in a very, very long, very long while. We're gonna debunk Ron Wills' uh, body game together. And we're gonna use his own words. We're gonna use his own words. You ready? Let's go. This should be good. Let's go. Do with yet another car video. Body game is never cope. <laughs> And I got to shout out somebody from my Patreon. He ain't asked me to do this video, but he had ah. mentioned it in a video he shared with me on Patreon. Like, if y'all want to hit me up or anything, trust me, Patreon. Patreon. And depending on the question, if it's related to sexual dynamics, I will take requests there. Of course you would, because it's all about... I can guarantee you Rom's entire page sex take sex off the table no one's listening you know let's get let's get let's get to it let's get to it i will take requests there but uh anyway i gotta shout him out brother muhammad i said he said something about yeah for all those people who say it's only face and height you know because he was showing a, a video of this uh muscular brother about five five but he was standing in front of these two korean women they were checking him out they were going crazy and stuff but I'm going to tell you what, it's never a cult. And also, also here's what I don't understand. Everybody checks everybody out. I don't, I don't know why he makes it such a point that everybody he mentions is like, yeah, he's being, they were checking him out, they were checking him out. Okay, like, okay, and? <laughs> I mean, like, I guess, I don't know. It's like he's framing it to like, if you get to that point of being checked out, that's an accomplishment. That's like, uh, 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 a skill unlocked, whatever. It's weird. It's weird. That's weird. Also, I got some video, a couple videos in the description box. Because every now and then I get somebody, they're coming on old video and say, You don't look like you work out. You don't look like, you know, they see they see a car video top up. They don't see like the stomach is dipping down and everything. Or they be making some assumptions. Here's two videos for you. Come on, Rob. Clearly uh, you work out. Here's two videos for you showing like me working out. And I'm in my 50s. I'm in my, keep in mind, I'm in my 50s. So, whatever I do. In fact, when I had my stroke, even the physical therapist, they say, you know, we can tell you work out. Wow. That is, how could they not see it? I, he said, my doctor said the same thing to me too. He said, hey, clearly you, you're, so. <laughs> you should be back from it quick. Back from it quick. You know, so one of the things, though, but it's never a cope. And see, I'm going to tell you for one simple reason. Okay, what's that? It works. It works. You know, I had some guy, you always get some people, they's trying to fight. It works for whom? What's the number? What is the, once again, um, yeah, your way may work, but does it work for everybody? That's the problem. For him to sit here and say body game works, okay, and the next question is for whom? Who does it work for? Just because it works for me doesn't mean it works for, that's, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. So his one premise is it's because body game works. For whom, sir? For whom? They trying to tell you some stuff. Here's some dude, come on here, uh, comment one time, say, well, Rom, you were getting the women because of your face and your height. But... If a woman is sucking your dick and she says she's sucking it because she likes your body, what do you listen? I mean, <laughs> just like, come on, man. When women tell you they they messing with you because you got your body right, you got some muscles, they sucking your dick and shit, they, you fucking them. What you listen to? Okay, so when, ladies, are you telling the guys that you get with well, because you got big muscles is why I'm here with you. Like, do you openly say that? Or do you give like a compliment? Oh, okay, I, you work out or you, you look good in that shirt or whatever. Like, are you, are, are women out here like really telling men, oh, because you got big muscles. This is why I'm with, like, I, this sounds like rhetoric. I, I don't, I've never heard this. Now, I've, I've had compliments, but I've never heard a woman just out really say, it's like, because you, you know, this is why, because, because it, you know, because you're build. Like. No, no. You listen to the women that's right there on their knees in front of you, or you gonna listen to some dude who just don't want to face that you get your body right, you 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 take care of a lot of stuff. And then like a okay. lot of another commentator a lot of said, stuff. what they what these dudes think? 
guys just walking around with a floating head. Because even with face and height, they still got to look at the body that is on. Even these guys talking about some Chad or something. I don't know why they don't be seeing that Chad or some of these models they be using be hitting the gym. When women look at a man, they look at the whole picture. You know, on my uh, sit-down video today, I talked about a man's style. That's his power. He, he got to wear his style, but that's, way, that's how he wears his clothes. If you get two different men who wearing an Armani suit, one's in, you know, he's fit. The other one's a big dude all sloppy and shit. Who that Armani suit going to look good on? That, that's why you would get it tailored. Even if he's a fat, sloppy dude, you can tailor a suit to, to hide his, his physical flaws, but okay. Even, even, even in situations where it's telling, especially if it's telling, you know, you got to have that right suit and stuff. Who's going to fit better on? It's, I mean, shoot, just common. It's tailored, but that's the beauty of it being tailored. It can hide stuff to make you look more than what you are. Come on, Ron, don't do this. Sense, but you get some guys don't want to face it and stuff. And then even in the comments, whenever I do, uh, well, first of all, I, I lost count of how many dudes are doing body game videos of their own. And all of them hadn't heard of me. But what they don't, boom. In the gym and shoot. These are younger guys, too. Younger guys at that. You know, because I'm 59. So whatever they put now, shoot, I'm just doing good. I'm 59 coming off a stroke, so I'm just doing good just to do whatever I do. I can still hit some shoot. That's... I can still what? I'm I can like, cause I ain't going as hard as I used to. As you know, still about you. twenty pounds less. Twenty pounds less than what somebody who have, you know pre-stroke was could throw up three hundred if I had to. Listen, you'd be lucky to get two twenty-five out of me. My days are living heavy, long behind me. I have nothing to prove at this point, but I'm just I'm just talking at this point. Shit, whatever I had to. Maybe one time, but shit, there's <laughs> more than, what, 99% of the population. <laughs> but, you know, it's not a cope. It works. Like I was saying about... Body game is a cope. Body game is a cope. Body game is an additive. It's used in addition to. It's not the baseline. Body game is not the baseline. Uh, the people who comment, they not saying, oh, wow, let me try that. They telling their own stories. Whenever I guarantee, even in this video... Whenever I do a body game video, most of the guys who come, man, they talking about their own experiences. They ain't saying, hey, well, this work, this work, this work. The overwhelming majority is saying they own, they co and They ain't saying, oh, that's something. They co sign That's why I said uh, anybody, anybody who got a problem with body game, instead of, like, trying to talk all this shit, go out and actually do the damn thing. Do what? I'm married for me. I'm married. I work out, but I didn't have to work out to get married. I didn't have to necessarily work out uh, to, uh, hoping the women would be a byproduct. I work out because I have always had a very bad body dysmorphia. My dad got us into weights when we were young. I played a bunch of sports, so it was ingrained and it benefited me uh, on the physical level to to work out. So I had that in. I, I grew up in this. So. I cannot understand or, or why is this so oversimplified? You know, you work out from for most men they work out for 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 looks and aesthetics. The byproduct is the woman. It seems to me Ram Ram is saying no, you work out for the woman. If that's the case, I, I it, it's conflicting, confusing messages from Ram. First is for instilling confidence. Now it's you know well you try and see what what results you get with the women. So. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys figure it out. Just do it. Just do it and see what happens. You know? Because I've yet to have some. I've yet to have it in promoting it. And really promote it in my book, Nice Guys and Plays, even though I don't use that term. Why not? I was like, well, shit, tell me. I've yet to have somebody come back and say it didn't work for them. Didn't work. I've yet to have somebody. What was the end goal for them using it? That's what you're not saying. What was the end goal for them using it? To get what? To do what? To achieve what? For the what certain effect? They come back and say it didn't work for them. Because women, yeah, they looking at your face and height. 
But I know some they some handsome motherfuckers out there ain't hit the gym. I told you, I worked with this dude who looked like Clint Eastwood with glasses. He ain't hit the gym, no. Got no, no parts of the pussy. Uh, uh, okay. Or this other, um, you know, and I've known some dudes, they were tall, but they were tall and lanky and stuff. We weren't giving them no pussy. How, how would you know that? How would you know that? You mean there's a bunch of tall, sexless dudes out here? Tall, lanky dudes is mad sexless out here. Uh, okay, Rom. All right, Rom. Get your body right. Now, let me be clear. Unless they have, they get some of there if a woman happen to like lanky. But every woman likes something in a man. Now, if you ain't hitting the gym and stuff, and I got one brother, uh, he keep changing his name. I'll just call him Levi's and, uh, uh, Levi's and uh, Clark's. He said he ain't doing a single push-up, but he got charisma. Okay. But other than that, the overwhelming majority of uh, dudes who actually hit the gym, did some shit, they can see a change. Okay. They can see a change. And it just popped in my mind, even about this guy I used to see at one of the gyms I used to work out at. The dude was coming off as goofy at first. He worked out. I noticed he worked out. I say after a year, I noticed he even walked different. Okay. How he carried himself and everything. And I've seen that a few times. Oh, so, okay. That's cool to leave it there. But then once again, I'm waiting for him to say, it, it, did he report back to you that he got more, more women from it? Or what was more important? Him getting women from it or him being a better, more self-confident man? I'm just waiting to see if the guy comes back and tells him, hey, man, I've been working out so long and now all the women, are, are they all up on me. I've seen that a few times. Okay. Just women checking out bodies, whatever they like. Now, yeah, here's the thing. People want to say body games are cold, right? It is a cult. Okay, then why, please, ex they can never explain why a male exotic dancer is making money. Now with a Those are poor analogies because everybody understands uh, there's sex involved of some sort. It's the aura of sex. And when there's sex or uh, the idea of sex, people are going to show up. That's why no one has tr tried to challenge Rom. Or, or the, the male. This is why the male exotic dancers is a horrible, horrific example because everybody understands it's sex-based. When things are sex-based, people show up and they show out. Large that is why. At best, they can come up with some bullshit stuff, but they really, usually they don't answer that. How male exotic dancers, what they present? Male exotic dancers are not the norm, for one. And for two, they work in a sex environment. That is why. <laughs> come on, man. They present their, hey, if they wouldn't need to take off their clothes if they just if it was just face or even height. And hell, some of the most mo money-making ones ain't six feet. And shoot, I've seen some videos, uh, some of those male exotic dancers, they come out with masks on. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Are, are you speaking for all male exotic dancers, sir? Are you speaking for the all, whatever many are registered as male exotic dancers? You have guys that moonlight on the side. Do you do they quantify as male exotic dancers who do it for maybe once a month, every once every couple of months? They just for some quick money or just because they were bored. And then, like I said, there's a there's a troop of uh, older brothers, uh, big burly guys. They're not cut up. They don't have six packs, and they get just as much traction as as their cut up counterparts. So it's not their face either. They making their money off their body. They making their money off their body. But the main thing, the main reason, we'll see. First of all. Let me start with my... Well, you, you know who else makes uh, money off their bodies? Athletes. Athletes also make monies off their bodies. But come on. Shit, I got two sons based off of that. There we Shit, go. body game. I was just in my co-parents. I was just a friend to her because we didn't really see each other around. We so he wasn't married. So he wasn't married to the mother of these, these children that he sired based off body game because i'm waiting for him to talk about the marriage part or the ex-wife part like more like phone friends she saw me i had a shirt on showing the chest everything the chest is sisters and everything yeah two babies out of it and she so you were being a pookie this is pookie behavior 
So in your 30s, we can assume this is in your 30s, you were being a pookie. So you knocked up a woman, you made a, you made a, uh, basically a single woman, right? You, you knocked up, you knocked, you knocked her up twice. You gave her two kids and still saw no value in marrying the woman. You still saw no value. You reduced her down to a phone friend and you reduced your children down to uh, an escapade based off body game. That's... Still cool with me. She's supposed to stop by this morning. Wow. So, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. You know? Because a lot of guys writing, they saying, hey, the women paying attention. And let me be clear. It don't mean you have to be something specific. Just your best body and see which women like it. Like if you, and let's put it like this. If you ain't getting no play now, change your body. If you ain't getting no play now. That's not guaranteed. Once again, that's not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. Whatever you add, if you get it, would help enhance. Uh, but it's not a guarantee. I would never tell a man, "Hey, guarantee go, you go in the gym for a year, you're gonna get." It, it would help. It it may lead to this. It may lead to more opportunities uh, for you to possibly have sex. But I would never tell anybody it guaranteed. That's this is foolish. This is foolish. Play whether you're a big man, slim man, whatever, it working for you, stick with it. Stick with it. But I've known some dudes who are married, they say they, they, they were in a relationship with them. They were like a woman or something, and the woman would say, hey, you know, they would just hit the gym, change something, the women get excited, want to have sex more. Because anybody who say shit, anybody who say body games are coke, First of all, they never say they're getting any play. They just arguing and shit. Well, um, body game is a cope. I'm not here to argue. Um, the examples you've given were extremely poor and not they're not representing the majority of men. You know, because a lot of dudes just don't want to do the work. They just arguing and stuff. If you ask them, yeah, shoot, you ever have a woman just rub all over your back? Okay. Yeah. Kiss it, lick your chest. Y yeah. You know, big ass, like sexy legs wrapped around you. Shit. Okay. Once again, a lot of y'all eating this up. Oh my gosh, Rob has never happened to me. Like he understands that his audience is living through him when he talks like this. Once again, you take sex off the table. Body game does not e exist on its own. Can I say on its own? This is part one. We'll do part two later. Y'all have a good one. Peace.